Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's finally the last day of Paper Squishy Week on my channel, which I'm sure some of you are going to be sad about and some of you are going to be happy about it. But hey, today is the last day. It's not going to be the last Paper Squishy I ever do, just I've completed a whole week of them. Tomorrow I might do a Paper Squishy like update collection type video and then show you them all and ones I've been making over the past like month or two and put them all in a video. We'll see what happens tomorrow. I don't know. Might decide not to do that. But yeah, this is the 3D paper squishy of a sushi. Um, I've had this question asked so many times. This requested to be by so many people. I cannot like even pinpoint the first person to ask me. So I will just put a whole load of comments on screen now as I'm talking. But this is how my design has turned out from inside of my head. It was really, really simple to make. I did make this one here without any foam inside at all. So I'm interested to see how this one will squish in comparison to others. So I will be squishing that at the end after the tutorial on how to make it. So I hope these DIYs are still keeping you nice and busy and that you're drawing in. I have seen so many people send me images over on Instagram. If you do post a picture be sure to tag me in it I will put you onto my stories I find that easier rather than you putting it on your stories and tagging me that way because they only have like a 24 hour thing and sometimes I miss them then I feel really guilty so yeah if you do make it be sure to tag me on Instagram but anyway I hope you're staying home staying safe staying healthy as much as possible and I'm just going to get straight on into the tutorial on how I made this little sushi roll so as I make like 90% of my paper squishies, I just ended up using normal printer paper, just an A4 piece and I folded it down, kind of down the middle and I drew a line around about three inches wide from one of the ends and I coloured it in with this like khaki colour just to kind of make it like um, seaweed, just a greeny kind of dark greeny browny kind of shade. I cut this out and then I just taped all over it to cover it all in clear tape and make it nice and shiny and thick and then I just just kind of wrapped it around and then used that excess tape just to hold it down in place. I made sure that this was nice and flat and none of the bits were kind of like overlapping and made sure that all both edges were like blended in so just used my scissors to give it a little bit of a trim. What I then did was I took my tea light holder which seemed to be around about the same size as that and I drew around that twice to make two circles just on the scrap piece of paper that was left over. I used the same khaki colour as the seaweed and just made like the circles kind of thicker so it looked like the seaweed on like the edge and then I took an orange fine liner pen basically just one of the brush tip markers that I always use just took the fine liner side of it and marked out some like little scalloped edges because I wanted it to look like there was like the seaweed then rice then the filling so in order to achieve that I made sure to like put the little kind of swirly swirly I don't know what you call it like scalloped edges but inside out and then like coloured them in to make the fillings so I went with like a salmon and then an avocado and then a pepper kind of theme going on as they are my favourite bits. To add some detail to the rice I went back in with that khaki colour and then like put some little kind of swirls and like kind of little curls so it looked like there was slight pieces of rice in it. I then put a cute little face on one side just using a black permanent marker. I always use a black permanent marker so that the ink doesn't like run into the bits where it's already been coloured in. I then cut the one with the face out, out and then I stuck that down to one of the ends of the cylinder just to make the kind of base of the um, sushi roll. I ended up putting tape over it and cutting each piece of tape down so that I was able to kind of stick it down whilst still like making it as neat as possible so I like cut it down into tabs and then stuck each tab of the tape down just so that it stuck down as neat as I could get it. For the filling of this squishy I ended up using toy stuffing stuffed into a um, like just a plastic bag and then I taped it all down and then put it into the squishy itself because I've had a lot of crust to do this and I also ran out of memory frame scraps so I thought that this would be the great time to do it. On the other end I just made sure to seal that all in just the same way as I did on the top using tape, and then cutting it down into smaller bits and then putting that on a tiny bit at a time just to keep it nice and neat. I made sure to cover the whole end of that as well just so that it was all covered in tape. I then put some more strips of tape on all the way around so that it kept it all nice and neat and that it looked like the sushi kind of seaweed was wrapping around it. And then for the final kind of step I just used some acrylic paint to paint on some details like in between the like mouth to make the tongue, either side of the eyes to act as blush and some highlight into the eyes. 
So I've just finished this sushi roll off just by putting a few other pieces of tape on. So I've actually got about three layers of tape on here. It's really, really like filled with tape. Um, but yeah, really happy with how this has turned out so far. I'm interested to see how it's going to squish without like the addition of the memory foam inside. And I've used a bag and some stuffing. I haven't used that technique in quite a little while. Usually use it on like my duct tape squishies, but never usually paper squishies so yeah interested to see i did line up the front piece and the back piece so it looks like the same piece of whatever it is it's going to be running through so i chose to do like this bit for salmon and this bit here for peppers and this bit for avocado as that is my favorite sushi filling if anyone else has a favorite sushi like roll fillings let me know i love that combination of the three so much but yeah i put the cute face on one side left the other side just plain so i mean down to you which one you prefer i always prefer the one with the cute face but now it's time to squish it and see what happens so like it's okay it's not the best i think my usual kind of mix of the memory foam scraps and the stuffing does work better but this way uh <laughs> It's, it's like halfway, halfway coming back, mm, quite disappointed, um, just gonna pop that back out to shape, um, yeah, I usually just prefer putting memory foam scraps in and then, um, toy stuff in, just in different layers, I just find that gives me the best squishing results and I always usually have, um, little foam scraps but today I didn't have any left because I made so many paper squishies that I've stuffed all the scraps into them already so yeah I thought I would try this one out and just see how it compares that's why I thought if I do a collection or like an update video I could compare them all at the same time so yeah hopefully you have enjoyed this video and have enjoyed paper squishy week of April 2020 let me know if you have any requests for any future paper squishies, any other kind of kawaii DIYs that you want to see on my channel going forward for the next week or so, I'm going to be just doing some random ones, some normal squishies, plushies, charms, that sort of stuff. So yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed it. Please do leave your request still down below because this isn't the last paper squish I'm ever going to make. And um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed it and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye!